come in. Come into my home. This is where I live. Hi, I'm uh, James Forrest and I live in a tree. This is my home. So James, how long have you been living in a tree? Uh, I've been living in a tree for about seven years now. Uh, I moved out of my parents' home when I was 15 and uh, I found this tree and I thought it would be a good place to uh, settle down. Why, why do you live in this tree, James? Well, uh, I've looked around other trees but this one I felt I had a real connection with. I like the, uh, the branches and the leaves and I felt like it would be a good home for me. And how did you discover this tree? Uh, I was kind of, I was walking around and uh, I stumbled across this tree in the park and I thought this is where I belong. And what's, what's tree life like? It's hard. Uh, I don't think you'll be cut out for it. It takes a real real man to do it. And uh, you gotta you gotta fight for every every last scrap of food. Um, and then find find a nice comfy branch to sleep. It's it's definitely not like the luxuries of modern day living. But what's what don't you like about conventional life that's made you live in a tree? I'd say it's the uh, the hustle and bustle, the uh, dog eat dog world, the uh, the new uh, techno technological age, and uh, the, the busy the busy cars and streets. So you don't own an iPhone or any kind of mobile device or anything? Uh, not for me, no. It's all, I, all I need is uh, some branches and some leaves. Um, okay. Um, do you know of anyone else who lives in the tree? Um, no, it's just me. Do you not have any like tree friends? Just the squirrels and the birds. No, no other humans do. Who do this? No, they couldn't. They're not cut out for it like me. But what makes you stand out amongst the rest to live in the tree? I say it's my philosophy in life and my uh, my desire to uh, to stand out from the crowd. There's not many other like me. Uh, do you get any hassle from uh, people living in trees? Like do you, like do people hassle you, hassle you? Yeah, in the morning. People walk past and uh, kind of throw sticks and laugh at me. I try to ignore them, but sometimes it gets real hard. You're lost. It's like at school when I was bullied because of my love of trees. I used to just spend all, all, all playground and playtime in the in the trees, and everyone used to kind of laugh at me. But it's just it's just where I belong. And, and the children still bully you today. For yeah, living. as they walk past going to school. Like I said, they throw sticks and stones at me. Thank you very much, James. <laughs>